Hi, welcome again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to bring marketplace plugins that you have installed for Unreal Engine 4 and how to get them into Unreal Engine 5. As you know already, there is no direct way we can use the marketplace app for Unreal Engine 5. So we can try this method to bring those plugins into Unreal Engine 5. Here, we are going to use the OneGrass engine plugin, but you can try with something else. Even though you bring those plugins into Unreal Engine 5, but there is no guarantee those plugins will be a uh, work as expected or whether they gonna compile uh, as we are trying to do uh, right now in that case you might have to talk to the developer and uh, ask them to fix their plugins for Unreal Engine 5 and and then you can try it after that all right let's get started first we need to locate our epic games directory in c program files usually it will be available in the c program files in my case i have moved it to a different drive now it's available on the d programs and epic games and then you need to find the 4.26 directory like this and then make sure that you have installed the relevant plugin to 4.26 from right then uh, we can go into that and here we have the engine directory go into that here we have a directory called plugins go to that and then uh, we have a directory somewhere here called marketplace go into that and then you will have the all the plugins that you install from the marketplace for Unreal Engine 4.26. In this case, I'm interested in the one grass. I'm going to select that, right click and copy that. Then I need to locate any UE5 project that I want to use this plugin, right? I have this project over here. Then I'm going to create a new directory called plugins. Then go into that and now paste the folder that you have copied, right? Now we have the plugin inside here. Then I can open my project by double clicking here. Then it will give me a warning saying this plugin is made for 4.26, but shall, shall I load it? Uh, definitely, let's go with that. Then it will ask me to compile or rebuild this plugin again. In this case, sometimes this doesn't work. And there could be two reasons. Whether this plugin is not compatible with UE5, then you have to talk to the developer. In the other case, you might have to install some tools to make sure that C++ projects can be run. So in this case, just check the description below, then you can try installing those files and make sure your PC is ready for building plugins like this. Then I'm going to hit yes, then it start building some things. And usually it will take about one to five minutes depending on the plugin and the your PC setup. Then if you saw the screen, that means your plugin is completed. Then it will start the project like this. Now you can go to the edit plugins and then search for one grass. And then you can see this plugin is installed. In your case, the plugin would be something else. Then you might have to type accordingly and make sure that plugin is enabled. You, usually it will be enabled by default. If, if that's not the case, try to make it enabled. In this plugin, we have some plugin content and let's see how we can uh, use them but it's completely depending on the plugin that you're using in this case we have some uh, in plugin content so i can make sure that's engine content and plugin content is enabled then i can search on the this bar and search for one grass and we have the one grass engine content and i have the example directory i can load this map and basically it's working and yep and exactly what we need i think this will be really useful for you to see whether the plugins that you install from the marketplace for 4.26 can be used for Unreal Engine 5 as well. But even for this OneGrass Engine uh, plugin, I had to do some changes to make it compatible with UE5. So you might have to talk to the developer to make sure it could be uh, used in UE5. All right, see you soon with something interesting.